Hey guys, welcome back to the Comic Cave. I'm Zach. And I'm Thomas. We're going to be giving you our uh, agreed upon five worst superhero movies of all time. Yeah, stick around for it. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be going five, four, three, two, one, and we'll just give you our lists. I'll start us off. Um, the first movie is Green Lantern. Oh. Yeah. So much wrong about this movie, including. Uh, you know, the unnecess audiences off. Unnecessary okay, CGI off. masks. Why? You don't, you don't need it to be Since CGI. when do you have CGI masks? Um, the parallax yeah. was bad. The scientist who got possessed by parallax was bad. Carol Ferris was bad. Uh, how generic. Jordan, how Jordan was douchey. He played the wrong character. He played, he played like a mix of Carl Rayner and Guy Gardner or something. I don't even know what he was doing. It's just bad. Sinestro yeah. was the best part about that movie. Sinestro was really good. I liked him. Um, let's leave the movie on a happy note with Sinestro. Yeah. And Kilowog. Yeah, Kilowog. Yeah. R.I.P. Michael Clark Duncan. Number four. Um, I, you have not seen most of this. I've seen bits, bits of it. And I know why he's put it here. Uh, yeah, number four is The Hulk. The 2003 movie. version with Eric Banner. Just because they share the last name, kind of. Doesn't mean that you should be casting them. Yeah. Uh, Eric Banner did not play a good Bruce Banner. I mean, I, I like Australian actors, but you know. No. Um, was, uh, I've seen bits. They just have like weird cut scenes. Yeah, they have yeah, like yeah. different footages in different corners. Like it's like 24 or something. They, they, they did that, I think, um, to make it look like a comic book movie. But they failed horribly. Especially, and it was directed by an actual good, good director, Ang Lee, and just, oh, Betty Ross is bad too, and General Ross is alright, just, nah. So as we, are gonna be depressed as we keep going, let's just keep going. Let's keep going. Um, the next movie going. is X-Men Origins Wolverine. Um, I, I watched this movie and I didn't think it was too bad. But there was no real story, and no, the no. characters were just, you know... We're kind of these X-Men that are kind of the same as in the comics. You know, you're not supposed to cast Will I Am in a movie. He wasn't that good. Uh, the Sabretooth was good. He and, was then, and, then, and then you put Deadpool in it, and you don't have his iconic red suit, or his, or his charm, or his, or his, or his wittiness. And, and you give him arm blades that won't allow him to bend his arms, and... Cy he's become Cyclops with lasers coming out of his eyes. That's not Deadpool. Deadpool has not <sighs> been in a superhero movie ever. Mm. As we keep going, mm -hmm. let's keep going. please keep going. Because there's not much you can say about this movie because it was just so boring for the majority of it. <laughs> Is Spider-Man 3. This movie saddens me to my core. As Spider-Man was my favourite superhero growing up, and this movie... This movie, Screw decided to, to uh, this movie decided to come out. Uh, just, 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 just why? All the things about this movie were bad. Yes. There was uh, barely any. There was no. I don't think. I can't think of any good acting performances. There's a few that are average good. Yes. Um, and Jane was as annoying as ever. And Venom was horrible. Venom was horrible. Sandman was horrible. New Goblin, like James Franco, works acting. I've ever seen him. Yeah, he's uh, a good actor. I mean, why did this movie ruin careers? Tobey Maguire, he's barely done anything since. Like, yeah. you know, Craig Gatsby, and that's it. Yeah, yeah the same as Kirsten Dunst. I mean, she hasn't done anything. And there's a reason for that. Uh, Tof Tobey, uh, Tofa Grace, sorry, Tofa Grace was not Eddie Brock. Nowhere near what he's supposed to be. And then they added a. Uh, there was a. Gwen Stacy oh, in Gwen this. Gwen Stacy. Um, they, that character is not Gwen Stacy. She, she's like one of my favorite love interests in the comics. And then this happened, and she. And then dancing like Spider Man. So we'll just. Can you please? I'm gonna start <laughs> crying. Yeah. Yeah, number one. Number one. No, this is no, without a doubt the worst superhero movie of all time. And I used some to people like even it. argue it is one of the worst movies of all time and I can see why that's Batman and Robin